Thank you for tuning in to the best parenting show on the internet. Post Daily Dose. Happy Sunday, everybody. This is Christy Saul, the co-founder of the Post Institute, coming at you live straight out of church. I do hope that you guys are having an incredible day, because um, I uh, I hope it's contagious, because I'm having an incredible morning so far. Um, so uh, here's something a little interesting. You know, before I well before I go to church and before I come on here, I'm always praying because I want to you know I want to make sure that I'm that I'm getting myself out of the way. And so um, that was actually part of our message today. Uh, but before, before service, before all of that, I pulled out my notebook and you know, I never know what notebook I'm gonna end up grabbing on the way out the door because I take notes. And sometimes I take notes just because by taking the notes, it helps me to remember, it helps bring knowledge into my being. Um, and sometimes I never go back and relook at the notes, but uh, I happened to grab a notebook that I'd had. Uh, apparently, I had this out at the probably around March because um, it talks about prioritizing and decluttering, and um, that was I know that those were messages that we were that we were gaining. Um, right at the beginning of COVID before, while we were still able to meet. Um, so for some reason, I feel like that is, maybe that's something I'm supposed to bring back home today. Uh, something I'm supposed to reshare today about the importance of really prioritizing, especially as we, we're coming on the holiday season. To really think about the things that we're really grateful for. take a minute and really count those blessings realizing that sometimes we're so anxious and fearful that we don't even notice the prayers that have been answered because just as a prayer is being answered before we're even celebrating and being grateful we're worried about how we're going to do the next thing or the next thing or the next thing or how this answered prayer is now going to affect our life and worried that it's going to be negative Yeah, so prioritize, declutter, to declutter my heart and my mind. The things I find myself needing de to declutter my heart and my mind from are busyness, things that I just get anxiously worried about that are really not very important in the grand scheme of things and the bigger picture of life. Just a little nitpicky, petty, petty stuff. Your faith not to rest in the wisdom of men, but in God. Hmm. Let's see what else I find in my little, in my little treasure trove here. Don't pray the threat away. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Makes me think about how um, the first time I heard somebody talking about um, the idea of uh, praying our own agendas or praying certain things away versus praying for boldness, praying, hey, praying for stamina, because you don't always know when you might be praying somebody or even yourself out of part of your purpose. Hmm. That's a big deal, isn't it? That's a big thing. So today's message was about faith and humility and how that, in my mind, I just picture that tying right in because I think about how much, um, how many times I've been in, in the way of my own growth. I've been in the way of my own blessings. I've been in the way of, of um, creating a pathway for my child because I kept things in my hands as opposed to just turning it over to a higher power, turning it over to, to love, turning it over to healing and to find my way in the flow. And if I do that, if I pray 
if I pray people out of their blessings, then that also could mean I'm, pr I mean, out of, out of their purpose, that could also mean I'm praying myself out of my purpose. If I start praying for all of this stuff to go away, because part of my purpose is to guide my child. It's interesting how simple and complex it is all at the same time, isn't it? It's kind of like that statement that just because something is hard doesn't mean it's bad. Hard does not mean bad. It can just mean hard. So I just find myself today feeling extremely grateful. Um, I feel so grateful. I have so many, so many things, so many blessings I can count. And I find myself praying. Honestly, I pray, here's one of my prayers right now. That I don't go back to walking in my wounds. Because when I first started really, really getting faithful and full of faith. Faithful meaning full of faith, full of belief, full of hope, full of love. Not from myself, but through God. Um, I was walking in my wounds. I was depressed deeply depressed um, I was I was tripped up in some very adolescent and collegiate type behavior because of some you know when we stress we regress I regressed to a very wounded place thank God I didn't stay there forever but I find myself now praying for that same eagerness for that same desire for that same burning fire in my spirit uh, because I don't want to go back. You know, I don't want to go back to walking in my wounds in order to be on fire. So, um, that's a, you know, that's just a big deal. So, I don't really know. I don't, um, I think maybe I'm just sharing this because we're all human. We're all human. And how does this relate to parenting? Well, how we're walking our life as adults, uh, our children are watching all the time. So I know when I was walking in my wounds, when I was actively depressed, uh, when I was really struggling with being a mature adult versus slipping into some adolescent and immature places, I know that that affected my daughter because I'm the leader of our family. So I have responsibility. I remember even saying to Brian, I think she might be a little bit depressed. And he said, well, I think somebody probably is. So I find that first, I'm just so, that makes me sad because we were there, but I'm so glad to not be there anymore. So my tears are like those happy, sad ones. Her healing is falling in place. It's probably about six months to a year behind mine. So I know I'm the leader in my family. I accept that. So are you, you're the leaders in your family. So know that your job is so important. It's so important. What you do day in and day out to take care of yourself, what you do day in and day out to take care of stress, to manage your stress, what you do day in and day out regarding your beliefs and your faith and stepping in love are all things that are teaching every minute of every day. And we are all human. So this isn't a message about about anything other than that, that we're all human. And um, for people who are believers, um, you know, when you, I just, I really wanna encourage people to believe, to believe in the power of love. Uh, if, if talking biblically and scripturally creates anxiety because of church hurt or because of things that you've seen people do to other people who claim Christianity, just always remember God is love. So when people talk about God, you just put love in. You just put love in your mind. You just, you know, substitute it. Substitute it because um, love is the most amazing, powerful healing source that we know. So, wow, much love to you guys. I pray that you have a beautiful day today. Enjoy the remainder of what's left of this beautiful Sunday. Just take a minute to count your blessings. Look around you and see all the things that you prayed for and hoped for. And take a minute to just celebrate that. To celebrate the goodness of that. And to trust and believe that if those prayers are answered, then there's other prayers right around the corner. And that, uh, that ways can be made. Ways can be made. 
I know that uh, when we're raising children who come from tough places, when we have our own tough places, it can feel like it's forever. It can feel like it's gonna be here forever, that pain, but it will, it will pass. It may be a day, it may be a moment, it may be a day, it may be a week, it may be months, but like clouds, it can pass. So I hope there's something in there that's hopeful, encouraging, edifying. I hope that you take a minute today and just look at your babies, look at your spouse, look at your friends, look at the people that you are in this world with, walking with, and that you just notice, let that love, you know, just let it build in you. Let it build in you and let it come out of you. How much you just feel grateful for the people in your life, that um, the places that you've been planted, your circle of influence, just have gratitude for that. Have gratitude even for the difficulties because it's building you. It's building you for tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow so that you can handle everything that's coming in your life, everything that God and love have in store for you. And remember what Brian tells us in any given moment. We can act out of those blueprints of survival, blueprints of fear, blueprints of stress. You know, it's like the world is so... The world is so invested in us staying fearful. It's in everything and it's invested because then it can sell us stuff. <laughs> we, can, uh, we can act out of our same blueprints of stress and fear and overwhelm. Or literally, we can take one, two, three deep breaths and we can feel the calm enter our mind and we can choose love. Much love to you guys. I hope you have a fabulous day.